And I'm Cherica, and we are. I am officially the first mom. This is the first child that was born through moms to be. And these are my other moms to be baby, and I had them before moms to be. Well, hello and good afternoon, everyone, and thank you all for joining us as we celebrate moms to be their 10th birthday. I found my pom poms. I'm Angela Ann with WBNX 10 TV. The beauty of being home and doing this is I have so many props in my closet that I can pull out as we celebrate this milestone. We are so glad to be here today, and I'm so glad to be your host as we have this virtual celebration this afternoon. You just met one of our moms to be. You're going to meet many more, but we, we really wish, you know, obviously that we could be together in person, but we are going to have just as good a time in the next hour. So for everyone who is joining us right now virtually, I want you to know this. We have over 100, 100 moms-to-be families, donors, community supporters, friends of the program. They're all on this call with us today. So you're going to just feel that spirit coming together. A few things I want to let you know about what's happening. Um, all of the attendees, with the exception of our guest speakers that you will see today, are muted and the cameras will be turned off because we want to make sure that you are all focused on who is talking. Um, this session, as you can tell, is also being recorded and that way you can watch it again um, over the next few days and see it over and over and again if you want to. Uh, we do have live closed captioning as well. That's being provided throughout this entire webinar. So it's really easy to get that if you need it. Just click that little CC button at the bottom of your screen and you can turn on that feature. And then throughout today's party, we're gonna have videos like the one you just saw from Cherica and you might just need to adjust your volume a little bit depending on what kind of device you're on, whether it's your phone or your laptop or your desktop, wherever you are, just know that when those videos start to play, you might just have to adjust it a little bit. It might be a little soft or a little too loud. So we wanna make sure that it's just right for you. So let's get this party started, shall we? Um, as we said, we are celebrating 10 years of moms to be. That is an incredible milestone. And if you think about it, in the past decade, moms to be has helped thousands of moms and healthy babies. And that is why I love this organization so much. Because when you get to see these babies and see how they have grown up, you just know that there is a family of support from moms to be behind every child. Um, and you look at those kids like Cherica's and you know that we're also changing lives for generations to come. Not just that child, but for generations to come. And so that's the huge impact that we're going to see today. You're also going to hear from our two co-founders of Moms2Be, Dr. Pat Gabby and Twinkle Schottke. You're gonna hear some stories of impact and a special story, which will be story time for the kids. We also have a bonus appearance from one of our favorite children's entertainer, Mim and her puppet, Snowball. So we want to make sure that you also get your singing voices ready <clears throat> because what's a birthday party without singing? Happy birthday, maybe even some cake, right? So as you can see, we have a lot packed in the next 30 minutes, an hour. So let's go ahead and meet our mom, shall we? Again, Cherica, she was our moms to be first mom to deliver, which is a huge milestone in of itself. So you're going to hear what this program has meant to her but also what it continues to mean to her and her family. And you're about to meet her adorable children. I'm Cherica Dixon. I am the first mom to deliver with Moms to Be. I just wanna say it was an awesome program with the environment that I was raising my kids in. It gave me somewhere to run to, to kind of get just all the correct things with delivering, breastfeeding, all the other nutritionist facts that I needed to help my kids be healthy and grow. Um, the main people that I seen all the time was Twinkle, Dr. Pat, and all the students from OSU. Everybody loved our kids. 
they came day by day and loved our kids and kissed on them, hugged them, made everybody feel wanted. If you ever just didn't feel needed or wanted, you felt needed and wanted there. Um, the best part of the program to me was just being wanted, making life easier in every way that was possible with the resources. As we grew, it was one, literally one Wednesday out of the week to where now it's every day of the week. It's way more moms, it's way more people actually getting the help that they need to be a better mom, a better caregiver, a better person in life. I actually always loved the program. I have four kids with moms to be and my four kids that was actually delivered with moms to be was way healthier than the two that I didn't have with moms to be. Just being around it, eating healthier, getting the information that I need to get by with delivering, breastfeeding, keeping up with the kids, you know, just everything. It's an awesome program. I absolutely love it. And I would recommend any and every mom to join our group because we are moms to be. Hi, I'm Ch Hi, I'm Cherokee Dixon. Thank you so much, Cherica. Yes, we are moms to be, and she's just such a shining example of why this program is so amazing. Now it is my honor to introduce to you two of my favorite people. And I'm going to say probably a lot of your favorite people, because um, if you know Dr. Pat Gabby, uh, she's just amazing. She's one of the co-founders of moms to be but her husband, Dr. Steve Gabby, has really been her number one supporter. And the two of them together are truly pillars in our community. They lead with passion, with love, they live to serve others, and they really lift up the moms to be in ways that are just immeasurable. So please put together a loud and proud virtual applause for Dr. Pat and Steve Gabby. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much, Cherica and Angela Ann and everyone for being here. Um, I'm asked, why did we start Moms to Be? And just listening to Cherica, I, I can tell you we had to. We had to start Moms to Be. When Steve and I came back to Ohio in 2008, we were shocked to learn that Ohio had such a high infant mortality rate, especially among black families. We lost more babies in Ohio than most states in the US. We were shocked. We said, what can we do about this? We can read the numbers, but we've got to do something. And so we, we got a grant from Ohio State, about $50,000. I know Twinkle would have liked more, but she'll talk about that later. We used that grant to find a place in Wineland Park. Now, Wineland Park is right next to OSU. It had some of the highest infant death rates in basically in the world, in underdeveloped countries. We went there, we were welcomed by a fabulous small African-American church, Grace Missionary Baptist Church. That's where Moms to Be was born. We've been there every Wednesday for 10 years. Okay, the pandemic put a little twist in our program and we're doing that virtually now. And so from one site in Wineland Park, we've now expanded to eight sites. As Cherica mentioned, we're in eight neighborhoods every week, two hours with our groups of moms. And how did we make such a difference in Cherica's lives and in other moms' lives? We have a fabulous team. We have nurses, social workers, doctors, community health workers, child development staff, dietitians, navigators, and all the students, and look what an impression they made on Cherica. Well, think what an impression she made on them. We set these young health professionals on a path to support and respect and honor our pregnant women and our dads. 
we realized early on we need the dads involved. And we have a fabulous dads-to-be program. So we see moms, we invite all their children, we have volunteers and a child development specialist that work with and play with our children. And then our dads are joined with our moms in our program. They make a big difference in everyone's lives. So we're really proud to say we have made a difference in Columbus. We've reduced infant deaths. We've helped so many people. We didn't do it alone. We had so much support starting right here in our own community. One of the first supporters, of course, was Kroger's because we have to feed everyone every week in eight sites. We feed everyone a good, healthy meal. And then our mayor, he's been a fabulous supporter. When he founded Celebrate One, Celebrate One took us under their wing and said, can you double your sites? And that's how we got to eight sites. Our governors have been fabulous. Governor Kasich, First Lady Karen, their family, Governor DeWine, Mrs. DeWine, and I'll mention her in a minute. They have all stepped up and helped support this valuable program. Yes, it does cost to save babies' lives, but look what it brings to our neighborhood, to our community, to our own lives. So I thank you all for being here. It's been a fabulous 10 years and we're gonna have 10 more years. And why are we honoring Mrs. DeWine today? Yes, that's one of our surprises because she came to Linden, she held a baby and she became sold on our program. She said, we have to take moms to be statewide. All of our families should benefit and can benefit. So you will hear from her. And I'm proud to say we enrolled our first mom from Dayton, Ohio yesterday. So yes, we're virtual, but our moms and our dads and our children are in troubled times. They need us even more now. And they're coming, they're coming virtually. So that's why we're honoring Mrs. DeWine today with our Gabby Infant Vitality Award. And as you see Mrs. DeWine speak, glance down to her right, you will see a sparkling glass green apple. That's Miss Apple. So let's listen to Mrs. DeWine. Thank you. Good afternoon. I am so honored to be here with you and accept the Infant Vitality Award. I first learned about Moms to Be when I visited Franklin County as part of Mike's election campaign in 2018. I fell in love with the concept and the way the mothers were learning and bonding with each other. When I was a new mom, I was a member of a homemakers club through Ohio State's extension program. And we called ourselves the Mother Goose Club because we had so many young babies. Having the support of other young mothers was so helpful. I believe that every mom wants to be a better mom, no matter their circumstances. And I know that when you become a member of the Moms to Be family, you become a better mom. I am also excited that all the Moms to Be babies are being enrolled in the Ohio Governor's Imagination Library. We know that children who get these books enter kindergarten more prepared and ready to learn. So again, thank you for this award and for providing a supportive community to moms to be in Columbus and now in Dayton. Oh, that's wonderful. Congratulations, Mrs. DeWine. We so appreciate your support um, from the governor's office and those kids are going to love reading all those books. And how about a congratulations to moms to be the fact that they are expanding now to Dayton and beyond. So if you're at home, just virtually give yourselves an applause, right? Because 10 years of hard work and we have much more to go. We now have a special story for the kids, although I'm pretty sure that maybe even some of us adults might enjoy. Cheryl Agronoff is an elementary teacher for the past 28 years now, and she specializes in working with English learners. So Moms to Be, she says, really speaks to her passion for diversity and inclusion. For the past five years of Moms to Be, we have been blessed to have Mim Chenfeld play 
teach and entertain our moms to be families with her warm and loving personality. Mim is an early childhood development expert and educator now for more than 60 years. She's also the author of several books on teaching young children. And before we introduce her, we bring Mim with our families. So please welcome now Mim and her puppet, Snowball. Congratulations, Dr. Pat and Dr. Steve and all the phenomenal staff and volunteers and interns and all the moms and the babies and the children and the families. What an accomplishment. Right, Snowball? Fantastic. My hat is off to you for such a fabulous journey. And we just love to see the circles every single week of the moms and the nutritious snacks and the support and the camaraderie and the whole community right there for the moms and the new babies and the families. But Snowball and I Snowball, get to pass all of those and not disturb them, right? We're very quiet, aren't we? Because we're going to help the children who come with the moms and keep them busy and happy and dance with them so they don't disturb the sacred circle. And we're excited about that and we love them and we miss them, don't we, Snowball? So we wanna give you the biggest, biggest, greatest hugs and love and congratulations and continue on and on and on because you are so needed and so appreciated. I'm Mimi Chanfield. I approve of this message and so does Snowball. Thank you. Thank you so much. Wow, Snowball, really well-behaved little dog there. Can even wave, right? Pretty great. So now we have a special treat for everyone. Um, we wanna let you know about a little later in the program. Um, it's a special birthday present, which I'll talk about more later. But we do want you to meet now our other moms-to-be founder, Director Twinkle Schottke. Twinkle is an infant health specialist who co-founded Moms-to-be with Dr. Pat 10 years ago. And for the past decade, she has worked tirelessly to serve the needs of our moms and our babies. And her passion is to make sure that every pregnant woman delivers a healthy baby. Thanks, Angela. It's so exciting to have a 10th birthday. We never thought, when we started out with just two moms in Wineland Park, how would we ever be able to serve this amount of people and then grow and grow and grow? We started out um, with just two moms in Wineland Park and the goal was to have healthy babies. Well, our goals never changed and the need has continued. So as we grew throughout the neighborhoods, um, we just kept figuring out like what the moms need. We asked the questions. We were trying to figure out what would make a difference to have healthy babies. And so as we started this journey, we thought about celebrations. We love celebrations. We love a good party. And so from the first day we started, we always celebrate the first day a mom comes to Moms to Be. And we make a really big, huge deal when our babies are born. And the third thing we celebrate is when our babies graduate because when they're in the program until their babies turn one. So those are three super big days. And if you think about today and all the people who joined our party, we have moms that were with us 10 years ago. We have moms that graduated on Friday and we also have moms that just joined the program. They stole my thunder in telling you that we started in Dayton and we enrolled our first mom yesterday, but we couldn't be happier to be moving this program, not only in Franklin County, but outside of Franklin County. We started a fundraiser, we call it Buckeye Funder, and our goal is to raise $70,000. Now that seems like a big goal, but the reason we needed that amount is because we wanna add more team members to the Moms to Be team. As of today, we have $10,220, and we have until the end of October to raise that money. So we thank you for all that you've provided, and we'd like to tell you to just tell your friends, because without supporters, we couldn't be here today. Two of our big supporters this celebration is United Health and CareSource. Those 
companies have worked with us endlessly and tirelessly to help us have healthy babies in the community. And if we look at all the partnerships we've made along the way, we continue to gain new partners each and every week. And that's our goal because this is not work that we can do alone. Some people ask, are you going to change the world? What are you trying to do? Why are you doing this? We're probably not going to change the world, but we will be able to change the world for this baby and this baby and this baby and this baby. And that's our goal. Because when our babies are healthy and our families are healthy, our community is healthy. And there's nothing better than that. I'm going to introduce to you one of our moms and her children. Her name is Tori Golden. We think the world of her, and I can't wait to hear till you hear her story. I'm Twinkle Schottke, and I am Moms to Be. I'm Tori. This is Drea. Um, our favorite thing about Moms to Be is the resources and the people we meet and all the new friends we make. We are Moms to Be! Wow, I could watch those kids all day long. Tori, thank you so much for sharing your family with us. And Twinkle, thank you as well. I know Dayton will not be your last city that we're going to see moms to be. By the way, we have grown in our audience. I just checked our participation and we have 122 of you. So thank you to all of you who have joined us. And if you did come a little bit late, don't worry. As you see, this is recording. And then we're gonna make this program available in the next few days. So you can watch it over and over again. That wraps up this part, this part of the celebration. As I mentioned earlier, we have more Mimi and surprises for you, but we also have a special birthday present. And the party will continue now through a special YouTube video that we have put together for you. Before we get to that though, uh, just to let you know, the video will include special messages from our supporters, from our many community members, um, another song by Imani. computer, don't put your phone down because you're going to get an email with the link to these special videos. And they can just click on that. It'll take you right there. Like you don't even have to move. But we do hope that you have enjoyed this program and that you will continue to help us all celebrate all the wonderful accomplishments of moms-to-be and their families. Um, I do want to give a special warm welcome now to Imani McCullen. She's a junior at Bowling Green State University, and she's going to help us sing um, <clears throat> happy birthday. Um, just to tell you a little bit about her, um, Imani has released her first two singles called Do Not Disturb and Lemonade. She also released her debut EP called Violet, and that is out on all different platforms now. So as we bring in some of our um, special guests, you see Twinkle there, and you see Dr. Pat and Dr. Steve and Dr. Kalmi. Thank you so much for joining us as well. And Imani? Take it away. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, must to be. Happy birthday to you. Amani, that was great. Twinkle, blow out the candles. <laughs> there we go. Whoosh, and so did Dr. Pat. You know what, this has been amazing. And um, really, we're just so glad that you're all here. But just remember those moms and remember those beautiful children in their faces and just know that they are on the road to healthier lives because of moms-to-be. I have goosebumps. I don't know if you guys do, but I sure do. And I can see Dr. Pat, Dr. C, Twinkle, Tommy, thank you guys all so much for what you do for our communities. With that, we're going to sing out the celebration one more time. Thank you again for joining us. If you missed that link, I think it's in our chat portion and in our Q&A down there. But thank you all. Congratulations. And Imani, how about one more song before we head on over to YouTube? Happy birthday sing along. to you. 
Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, must to be. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, must to be. Woo! <laughs> Happy birthday, moms to be, and we'll see you guys on YouTube. Have a great day.